Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Assalamu Alaikum before to define the sample distribution let us see some basic concepts population a set of all observations with which we are concerned is called population the population may be small large finite or infinite in several cases it is impossible or impractical to study the whole population so we take a subset of the population and from that subset we take information and take decision about the whole population that subset of the population is called a sample parameter is any measurable property of a population for example the population mean which we denote by mu is a parameter the population variance which we denote by sigma square is a parameter similarly the population standard deviation sigma is a parameter and so on any measurable property of a sample is called statistic for example the sample mean which we denote by x bar is a statistic the sample variance which we denote by s square is a statistic the sample standard deviation which we denote by s is a statistic now let us define the sample distribution the probability distribution of a statistic is called a sample distribution in other words it is a table which contains all the possible values of a statistic and their corresponding probabilities so let us solve an example to understand these concepts a population consists of five numbers 3 6 9 12 15 a random sample of size 3 is selected without replacement find sample distribution for the sample mean x bar here we can see that the size of population is 5 there are total 5 elements in the population so capital n is 5 and small n is 3 because size of the sample which we will select is 3 the next task is how to find number of all samples if we select 3 from 5 so we use combination using values of capital n and small n in this formula and after simplification we get 10 so we can make 10 samples if we select each sample of size 3 without replacement from these five let us create these 10 samples the first sample is 3 6 9 and to find its mean we add all these three and divide by three so x bar is six the next one is three six twelve and similarly we can make x bar which is equal to three six adding three six and twelve and then dividing by three the answer is seven the next sample is three six fifteen again we can add them and divide by 3 to find the value of x bar in similar way we can make another sample 3 9 12 12 and take and we can find its mean x bar which is 8 then the next one is 3 9 15 8 its x bar is 9 the next one is 3 12 15 8 x bar is 10 3 9 it's mean is 9 3 9 15 the mean is 10 6 12 15 it's mean is 11 and the last one is 9 12 15 it's mean is 12 so these are all possible 10 samples
and these are their corresponding means. And now we are in the position to construct a sample distribution, which will be a table. So let us see that in this case, we have a sample space in which there are total 10 elements. So size of the sample space, N of S is 10. And let us say to find probability of the first item, which is six, we can put it as an event A is equal to six, N of A is one, and we use the basic formula probability that probability of A is equal to N of A over N of S. So this is one over 10. Similarly, we can find probability of the next element, then the next one and so on. And we construct a sample distribution. You can see there is only one six. So probability of that is one over 10. There is one seven. So probability is one over 10. There are two eight, you can see. So probability will be two over 10. There are two nines, probability is two over 10. There are two tens, so probability is two over 10. And similarly, we have probability of 11 and 12. So this table, which contains all the possible values of a statistic, which is X bar and their corresponding probabilities is called sample distribution of X bar. That's all.